millions and millions of years ago, the world was inhabited by early men who were ape-like. They lived as hunters and gatherers and led a nomadic life. But once they discovered the art of growing crops, they cleared forests and settled on a fertile land beside a water body. So eventually they gave up nomadic lifestyle and became cultivators. So now do you know what is the science of growing crops called? Well, the science of growing crops or cultivation of crops is known as agriculture. Now, agriculture not only refers to growing of crops, but also growing fruits, vegetables, flowers, and also raising of livestock or cattle rearing. So, agriculture is a bigger umbrella and a broader concept that involves cultivation of crops, raising livestock, as well as growing fruits, vegetables, etc. Now, agriculture is a primary activity. Well, what do we mean by primary activity? Well, primary activity is an economic activity that involves direct use of resources. And some classic examples of primary activities are agriculture, mining, etc. In both these cases, land as a resource is used. Just like primary activity, we have two more economic activities, that is secondary and tertiary activity. In case of secondary activity, there is processing of raw materials or resources in order to convert them into valuable products. For example, raw cotton is processed into yarn and again timber is processed in order to obtain paper. So this cotton industry and paper industry are examples of secondary activities. So secondary activities include manufacturing and construction activities. And finally, we have tertiary sector that mostly includes service sector. This actually includes activities that are required to support secondary and primary economic activities. Some examples of tertiary sectors are transport, banking, education, health, etc. So these are the three categories into which economic activities can be divided and they are primary, secondary and tertiary. Now let us continue our discussion on agriculture which is an example of primary activity. Now as we know agriculture is a broader concept and it not only includes cultivation of crops but as well as fruits, vegetables and also raising of livestock. Now based on this there are different names that can be associated to each type of cultivation. For example, horticulture refers to garden cultivation, especially growing of fruits, vegetables, ornamental plants, flowers, etc. Second, we have poultry farming that involves raising of domesticated birds like chickens, or ducks etc for the purpose to obtain meat and eggs. Next we have pisciculture that involves large scale breeding of fishes for commercial purposes in artificial enclosures say tanks, ponds etc. And lastly, we have sericulture that refers to commercial rearing of silkworms in order to obtain silk, which is an important fiber or a fabric. So these are the different forms of agriculture based on the raw material or resource that they deal with. And all these types act as or provide secondary source of income to the farmers. Well, before proceeding with our lesson, we have an important question here. The objective says the branch of agriculture that deals with rearing of silkworms is known as and the options given are poultry farming, horticulture, sericulture or pisciculture. Well, which of these options do you think is the correct one? If you remember, just a while ago, we discussed that 
poultry farming refers to rearing of yes chickens or ducks in order to obtain meat and eggs and horticulture refers to growing of fruits flowers vegetables etc then we have sericulture that refers to rearing of silk worms and finally we have pisciculture that refers to rearing of fishes so here the objective says the branch of agriculture that deals with rearing of silkworms and the correct option will be sericulture now let's proceed with our lesson now agriculture is an important activity for a developing country say india in in fact in this country almost more than 50% of the population about 53% is involved in agriculture as compared to this in rest of the economic activities a small portion of population is involved as we can see in this pie chart so from this data we can very well understand that agriculture is very important for the economy of india and which is why the country is also known as agrarian country it generates a huge amount of revenue for the country now if we look into the map of india that shows the top agriculture states of the country then we shall find that mostly the states in the northern plains of india the northeastern parts of the country and in the southern states of the country a major portion of it is involved in agriculture however agriculture as an economic activity is not practiced in every state of india rather it is concentrated in some portions say the northern plains the northeastern part and the southern portion of india now why is this the case this is because agriculture depends on several factors the first and most important factor on which agriculture depend is soil in fact soil is fundamental to healthy crop production the type of crop we are growing also depends on soil type for instance rice grows on fertile alluvial soil that can hold a lot of moisture whereas cotton grows well in black soil that is well drained and well aerated another type of soil that is sandy soil is not fit for agriculture at all because it is infertile and do not hold moisture so you see how soil type affects the type of crops we are growing and therefore agriculture now in order to grow healthy crops it is also important to maintain soil health by soil health we actually mean its fertility level ph level and water holding capacity excessive use of chemical fertilizers deteriorate soil health so we should rather use natural fertilizers and manure in order to improve the health of soil and grow healthy crops just like soil topography is another physical factor that affects agriculture and it mostly refers to physical features of a land say mountains valleys plains etc now look at this picture in this picture we can find that at steep slopes and in extremely high altitude there is no soil here along the gentle slope we have mountain soil that allows some level of cultivation but here since no soil is found therefore at the highest peak or at the summit cultivation of crops is not at all possible this flat slope or a plain land is rich in alluvial soil and is very good for growing crops now this topography can be modified to some extent by human beings for instance at higher altitudes where water erodes the soil very swiftly in those cases steps or terraces are cut along the slopes and 
cultivation of crops is then practiced. So this type of cultivation is known as terrace farming. So via terrace farming, we can grow crops even in mountains. So you see how topography can be modified by human beings for their own need. Well, just like soil and topography, even climatic condition of a place also affects agriculture directly. By climatic condition, we mean the temperature and precipitation pattern of that area. Well, right amount of temperature or optimum temperature is very important during the ripening of crops. Again, water we know is very essential for cultivation of crops. Water helps to irrigate the crops, keeps the soil moist and therefore allows healthy crop production. Now, any undesirable change in climate affects agriculture adversely. For example, when the extremely high temperature leads to weed proliferation, which hampers crop production. Again, if the temperature is too low, then the soil freezes and frost develops on the fruits and crops, thereby not allowing healthy crop production. Again, during monsoon failure, we find that crop production reduce significantly. Thus, it is very important to have proper climatic condition in order to have healthy crop production. So, as discussed thus now, these are the three important factors that help in agriculture and they are climate. By climate, we mean temperature and precipitation conditions. Then we have soil and finally topography. So this brings us to the end of today's discussion on agriculture. Here, this is an introductory video where we try to look into the definition of agriculture. Agriculture is a primary activity which involves cultivation of crops, fruits, vegetables and also rearing of livestock. It is a broader concept and then we also discuss about various branches of agriculture and finally we looked into the factors that are important for healthy crop production or agriculture. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now